Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV. We are at SHOT Show 2022, talking to Chris at the Sky Booth about a couple of new models of the CPX pistols. Hoping you could walk us through them. Yeah, so uh, we released the uh, Generation 3 of the Sky CPX line. Now everybody knows Sky has pretty much been always a double action, which is more like a revolver type pistol. It's a hammer driven semi-automatic, so every trigger press is the same, but it's double action. Um, Last year we came out with our DVG, David vs. Goliath, Enter the Challenger. That was our striker fired gun last year. So this year at SHOT Show we've got the DVG out here in colors and in an optics ready type of version. But let's talk about the CPX line. So with the CPX we've got the one and the two, that's our nine millimeter models. We've also got a three and a four, those are our 380 models. We haven't been producing them for a while because demand on ammo and everything's going on. So we're focusing just today on the nine. So prior to SHOT Show 2022, this is our CPX pistol. Finger grooves, wide back strap. Um, you can see that it's obvious that it's a Sky pistol. We've got the octagonal cut on top. We've got proprietary rear sights. Well, we morphed that into the Gen 3. So the Generation 3, we took off those finger grooves. We took out that hump in the back strap. We added a little bit of Picatinny rail up front for people who want to put lights and lasers on. So the grip is all new design. Everybody really thinks it feels good in the hand. Hopefully, you know, that's what's gonna come out when we start selling these things. Stippling's just a little bit different too. It looks good and it's functional. Going from there to the trigger, we had been running a plastic trigger on a trigger cam, on a metal trigger cam in the CPX line. Now we have a metal trigger on a metal trigger cam. All right, so things are a little more durable, longer lasting. When we look at the slide, you can immediately tell that the slide is not the same old cut. The barrel's not the same old cut. We went to a more modern square top slide cut, which gave us a couple of different options. Right? One is that we could make it a red dot ready gun very easily. We're now retaining the rear sight. Before, when we had shipped these with the red dot mounted, the red dot took the place of the rear sight and there was a notch in that red dot that you used for your backup iron. Well, now you can buy it red dot ready, you can put your own red dot on it, and if you don't want a red dot on it or you can't afford it just yet, you still got your rear sight. And by the way, it's the shield footprint in case you're interested in what kind of red dot can go on this gun. The other thing is that these sights now are no longer proprietary sights. We're using a Glock 43 cut. So if you want to change the sights, you have that ability now too. You can add night sights, you can add fiber optics, you can add anything that'll fit on a Glock 43. Lastly on the slide and functional to the gun is that we have the Roebuck quad lock. So what the Roebuck quad lock is, instead of the front muzzle end of the slide being just oval, circular, and the barrel rests in it, there are two flats at four and seven o'clock on the front of the slide. So what that does is it's like a self-indexing method of putting the barrel back in the exact same spot in the slide every time it goes back into battery. So we got one, two, three, and of course the locking lug, four points of contact, so it's the Roebuck quad lock. And of course, we've got all our popular sky colors. MSRP on this gun minus the cutout is 269. $30 more with the Red Dot Ready version. And is that going to be available with and without the manual safety, so the CPX-1 and the CPX-2 post-gen 3 treatment? That's a great question, yes. And one of the other things we did on the frame, we made the uh, manual safety much smaller. So you can see that, obviously, compared to our old CPX-1, the manual safety was much larger, and it had a little shroud here on the grip that we didn't get a lot of great feedback from because the way it sits on your thumb knuckle. So we've taken off that shroud and made the ambidextrous safety just a little smaller profile. If you're looking for these guns, you can find us at sky.com. We just launched a brand new website and there's training videos and information about everything we do. Thank you, Chris, for walking us through the new models and thanks everybody for watching. We are finally wrapping up SHOT Show. This is probably our last day here, so there may be some more stuff coming. Stay tuned.